Today, we can conduct experiments with individual photons in the quantum optics laboratory. In case of the single slit, the random photon distribution gradually converges to the intensity distribution of continuous laser light, and thus to the bending pattern on the single slit with increasing number of single photons hitting the screen. Once again, the question arises what pattern will be seen if a second slit is opened? Will the individual photons generate an interference pattern, as in case of the continuous wave with maximum intensity distribution in the middle of the screen and multiple secondary peaks at the edge? Or is the emerging situation the doubling of the single slit pattern? The experiment shows that also in the case of the double slit, the random photon distribution converges to the intensity distribution of continuous laser light of the double slit. We conclude that interference also occurs if only a single photon is detected PM to the screen after passing the double slit. This means that the individual photons must interfere with themselves. The combination of particles and wave properties leads us to solve the riddle of self-interference of the photon, taking us to the heart of quantum mechanics in the next station.